All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and normally I am sharing all kinds of cool info about pro audio touring and uh, sound systems. And today I thought I'd share something different. Had a broken toothbrush and um, decided to take it apart and see what's wrong. Actually, it's a Philips Sonicare uh, HX686 with a letter after it, P, I think, um, and contacted the company. They sent a new one um, because the toothbrush was, this one, it's all loose. It wasn't working right. It was just, um, uh, something was loose inside, something broken or whatever. Uh, called them up. They were really cool. Sent me a, a replacement, and uh, they sent a 684A instead of a 686P. Uh, almost the same thing, a little bit different. Um, then after I got it, I was like, well, let's take a look inside. And so I opened it up and uh, checked it out, found the problem, and was able to fix it. I actually put it back to where it was, put it back together. Um, and then I looked on, you figured I'd take a look around YouTube, and there's a bunch of people that have shared, you know, how to, tons of videos out there, how to open these things up. And almost all of them involve some sort of, like, damaging like they want you to pick at this thing with a screwdriver and jam it in there and pry the back out or get a big pliers and squeeze it and uh, it may work for other models I don't know but um, there's just a much easier way of doing it so I thought I'd share a simple fast and easy way to get into these things and at least fix this problem or get in and see what the problem is so let's do it um, take off the head and pretty much what we do is get this bottom part off. I thought maybe it was a label I could peel off and there'd be some screws there. There wasn't. Uh, figured that would come out. Instead of prying this thing off with a screwdriver and trying to jam it in there and tearing this thing up, what I did was I just got a standard quarter 20 um, bolt. Um, one of the most common screws uh, available. Um, may have some laying around the house, use them for everything. And this little charging port here is uh, plastic. And it turns out that screw fits in, it threads in there uh, pretty well. It digs into the plastic a little bit. I just pushed it in. Don't turn it too much, you don't want it to slip. Just turn it just enough to get it snug and then pull. And um, the back comes off and you don't have to damage the unit at all. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the screw in there. Then um, I saw I had all those guts in there. And um, after looking, there's two little clips on the side. I'll show you in a second as soon as I get them out. Real simple to get those out is, okay, so you just take the little screwdriver, put it in there. Oops, so let's turn that thing on. Okay, so there's two little tabs in here. And if I take the screwdriver, I can just put it right on the side of the tab, and I can push down on this, and I can put it on the other side. And once I've freed up the two tabs, um, It'll pop out. And to show you what those tabs look like, oh, and then we get all these guts. Ooh, look at that battery and uh, all kinds of electronics. These two little tabs um, are just little springy things. And on the side of them, there's plenty of room to get a screwdriver in there and um, just pop them off the side. And then on the inside here, there's two little... Um, uh, you know, hooks, they kind of stick out. And a little flashlight in there, it's pretty easy. You can just get alongside those two little black tabs and uh, pop them out. All right, so now we got the guts out. Um, and we can pretty easily see this is the problem here, uh, at least on this one. Uh, if you have some other problems or broken stuff or you're changing the battery, now you're inside and you can do that inside of that thing, take it out. Um, and there's a little screw right there and this is a uh, number one Phillips, which fits right into that screw. And as soon as I tighten that screw up, boom, it's, let's try it, turn it on. And there we go, it's, um, it's done. Uh, so what I'm gonna do instead of just um, tightening it up because it was a problem is I'm going to Loosen that screw up. I was going to take it out, but I decided against it because I don't want pieces to fall out. 
I'm going to take a little bit of um, Loctite here. And I'm going to put it on, dab it onto the threads. And screw that screw back in. And now it's um, not only fixed, but it's not going to come undone, at least in that same way. Um, and then to reassemble, uh, wherever the light is or where the buttons, you line it up there. Push it in, it'll pop. It snaps in. And then this here pushes back in. And we can undo the screw. And throw the head back on. Boom. Um, that's the 686P, 684P, the new one. Figured I'd take a look in there and see if it opened the same way. Um, did the same thing. Um, take a screw. Tighten it in there by hand or with the pliers. And pop the back out. Now, if for some reason you over tighten it or it's not going in quite right, uh, or you're not, not able to take it out, um, I've done this before with other things. I don't remember what it was, but I've used this method. Um, take a piece of paper and fold it up a bit until something that's, um, and just stick the paper in there and then Use that as a spacer and then screw the screw in with the pliers or with your hand until it wants to stop spinning and pull the end out. Um, and let's take a look inside of this one. Um, same thing, see if I can get in a little easier. There we go. And there we go. This is the inside of the other one. Um, I'm not going to do it. I could lock. If it wasn't so easy to get in, I'd actually lock tight this, but I'll just wait for it to break uh, if it does do the same thing. Um, cool. Yeah, these things are kind of expensive. Uh, not too bad, um, but way into the fix it adventures and not throwing things away. And thank you, Philip, for sending us the warranty repaired or warranty replacement. Good way to operate a company. It's what we do with sound tools. And um, it is um, great to have the spare. And thank you for letting me keep the other one. So now we've got, um, I don't know, spare. Cool. All right. Um, and I'll get back to audio and off of these divergent subjects. Thanks for joining.